Hello Sagittarius, welcome to your monthly love reading. This will be for Summer Rising and Venus. Please keep in mind energy can go vice versa and this reading won't resonate with everyone. So take what fits and leave the rest out. Okay, we have the horse. Accepting help from others, delegating authority with partnership. So it looks like someone's searching for something here or searching for knowledge, almost needing to find something in a hurry here. Reunion, we will always come back to each other and hope I haven't given up on us yet. Yeah, someone's definitely thinking about uh, the present and how they can change the future here. Overall energy, two of pentacles. This is about juggling two things or uh, being able to keep up with priorities here. Okay, also about assessments. All right, so let's see what's going on in your energy this month. We have king of pentacles, knight of pentacles, and the judgment card. Okay, so I like this. This is a very stable month for you. Things have been kind of uh, chaotic or you felt un at, not at peace, okay, where you've been in a situation with someone, feeling like you don't have the answers, but also, uh, you know, there's some unfinished business that hasn't been dealt with and it has been very confusing for you and you haven't been able to really get settled on uh, how this has all happened or have gone down, especially some empty promises here, but I do like this month things are becoming more stable and in the judgment card uh, things are moving in a direction where you're going to see that uh, it's not quite what it seems okay ace of pentacles hair font fool and the page of pentacles for their energy so we have a lot of pentacles here you might have worked with this person or um, there's always been some kind of underlining connection where you both delegate to each other uh, about things or a very common energy that you have between you uh, where you feel the same way financially or your goals are aligned in some way uh, but I see with the Ace of Pentacles hair font, this person is definitely craving more than what they have now. I do see some search for knowledge here, Page of Pentacles and the Fool card. They feel like there is a missing piece to the puzzle. There's something that they really need to find out or know and fast. Uh, tell me the Page of Pentacles. Five of Swords. And the moon card, there's a lot of uncertainty where they stand here with you in this connection. Also knowing that uh, they've been caught at something or there's something that's been brought to light that they've done. That they know they don't look that great in your eyes at this point. Uh, tell me the moon card. There's a lot of fears. Uh, strength card and uncertainty whether you are willing to hear them out or be able to see things in a different way if they were to talk to you. Uh, tell me the hair font. Queen of Wands and the Star card. Yeah, this person's craving more than what they had before. And I see that uh, they definitely played some mind games here with the Five of Swords, trying to go against what is traditional, what you normally do, and how you give and take in a relationship. Also about giving respect. They realize that they did quite the opposite here, and it's something that you did not deserve in the Queen of Wands star. They look at you in high regards and uh, realize that they have messed up Big time. Hermit seven of Pentacles, seven of wands with the ace of pentacles. Yeah, a missed opportunity to uh, really do the right thing, but show you who they truly are. So it shows me that they manipulated uh, the energy here to make you think something that wasn't really there. Okay, so let's see what's happened in the past. Ace of cups, seven of pentacles, and the three of pentacles. So it always stayed in this first initial stage when you got into this connection with them. It felt like you both were on the same page here, working towards the same goal. Some of you could work with this person. Uh, and you knew that there would have to be time uh, needed in order for them to be with you or to make a decision to mold your lives together. But you always knew that the path was there, right? The goals were the same and aligned. And that uh, you would you know, invest in this because this person was being truthful and honest, but something suddenly changed here where you realize this person wasn't really saying what they meant and that they're not following through on their side of the bargain here. Uh, tell me the Ace of Cups, Empress, 
Eight of Pentacles, Knight of Wands, and the Knight of Cups. So their energy was very fleeting. It felt like, you know, yeah, they did say things um, that could really make you feel good, make you feel on top of the world at times. And then other times, very cold in the Knight of Wands, sometimes very passionate. And it just felt like an unpredictable mix of which version you were going to get when uh, they return or they talk to you here. But in the Eight of Pentacles, this person could work a lot or have a lot of responsibility uh, on their plate where they feel like they have to focus more on uh, that side of their life. Seven of Cups, Page of Cups, always trying to figure out and delegate where do you fit into the mix. So I see suddenly they started to fear things. Maybe things wouldn't turn out the way that they'd hoped or that they had talked to you about. And they let those fears and doubts run away with them. I see with the Seven of Cups, Page of Cups, they started to get really confused on which direction to take this and which was going to uh, prevent them from having some heartache here because they didn't want to lose you. But they were very uncertain that uh, so much time had passed and you would have to wait for quite a while because uh, things weren't working out quite like they had planned. And they felt like, you know, I don't know if they're going to stay with me. I'm already hooked on this person. I'm already attached. I don't know what to do. And they really let themselves, uh, you know, kind of sabotage this in a way because they were over analyzing so much. So we have the Queen of Cups, Ten of Wands, Six of Pentacles, and the High Priestess for the challenge. Yeah. They had a lot going on here, and it seemed like once they got into this connection with you, they kind of silenced, you know, their fears, what they were thinking and feeling, and uh, they kind of took it on themselves, but they realized that they weren't getting ahead in the situation. They were actually causing more problems by doing that, but they didn't know how to fix it or how to compensate for all that time they weren't there for you. So I see that they would pull away more Six of Pentacles, High Priestess, knowing they should reciprocate and they should do what is expected of them. But uh, this started to eat away at their conscience. So if you felt like this person just was suddenly pulling away so much and gradually it got to the point where they weren't coming around at all, or if they were, it just didn't feel like they were invested in this anymore, their energy was off, it was because they were fearful of how to reciprocate here. Um, after a long period of not doing much at all, they felt like maybe you would not believe them or fearing that they failed you here. And also this deep-seated fear that they might fail you in the future. And it's something that really got to them, stopped them from acting upon their feelings and emotions. Yeah, Queen of Cups, Justice, and the King of Cups. This is where it doesn't matter what is being shown to you in the physical realm. Things were quite off. Everything is not what it seems. Because we have the King and Queen of Cups. This person's love for you runs deep. This connection is unbreakable here. You do have a contract with them where things are happening this way for a reason. So it might have felt very confusing during this whole situation. Why? They were doing this. Why all of a sudden they stopped talking to you or opening up about things. Uh, Three of Swords, Ace of Swords, Nine of Pentacles, Tower, and the Devil card for what is about to happen. So we have something being revealed here, but it is going to change this connection. An unexpected surprise in the Tower. So if this reading is resonating with you in the extended, we're going to go over exactly what action they take what they're going to say moving forward as well as the timing and the outcome. If this is your last stop though, thank you so much for joining me. I love you guys and I'll see you next time.